All right, today we're going to bring you Charles Cross, uh, left tackle of Mississippi State. Um, a lot of buzz about Cross. Very excited to see this film. And I, what I did was I got his best game, his, his best competition versus Alabama. Was it his best game? No. But, you know, we're striving to look for the best competition. And let's get into the good and the bad of uh, Charles Cross, Mississippi State, left tackle. So we're looking at Charles Cross, and um, here's Cross. So let me get my stuff together. Left tackle right here from Mississippi State, number sixty-seven, and this is against Alabama. Again, like to do a prospects, you know, bets opponent and what better opponent than Alabama unless Mississippi State played Georgia but I got the Alabama film so let's check him out versus Bama um let's just watch the play and a high two point stance because we know Mississippi State love to throw the ball with Mike Leach so I don't know how much run blocking we gonna see but what I do like about this what I do like about this is the technique they run the toss so for him it's kind of outside zone away so his his job, in my opinion, is to get to the midpoint of this dude and just run him this way and eventually turn him so he can kind of seal him off. And if he can never get on that this if he can never get on this shoulder right here to seal him off, just get to the middle of his body and just make sure he don't cross your face. That's the objective when you run the outside zone. Good ball, get off. Now he's a, he's in perfect position right now. He's in the middle of the defensive lineman. He got that left hand at the midpoint. So all he needs to do is try to get to that right hand on that other shoulder. But the other guy's fighting it. So we got to get credit to the other guy too. But he's fighting it too. He's fighting it too. So even though he doesn't get to use that other hand and hook him back, he doesn't let uh, 18 get in the play by crossing his face. So that's a good job of just on the backside of, of knowing your job and doing your job. All right, on this very next play, he does what I think is a good job playing with his eyes. Let's watch it. Pass pro. Now, bag it up right there. So we're going to try to look at his eyes through the back of his helmet. His eyes are on the guy he's blocking. The guy he's engaged with, his eyes are there. But he sees that red helmet flash behind him. He sees that helmet flash and immediately comes off. To get himself in position to take that stunt. And that's a good job playing with your eyes. Because if you go all brute strength, just try to run the initial guy out of there, 48 comes through scot free. So a guy that can play with his eyes, and, and Linderbaum does a good job playing with his eyes too, but Linderbaum's in the interior. This is a good job by Cross, you know, not taking the bait on the stunt, seeing it with his eyes, getting out there in good position. I mean, good, um, good old, um, shoot, I can't think of what I'm looking for. Good position. Position wasn't a word, but it'll do. So I'm going to say this, and I ain't going to even re rewind this play that much. I don't know how good number 18 is for Alabama. And no shade on, you know, the guy. But watch this. You you can't you can't get any better. There's no need to even commentate that. <laughs> All right, so a few things on this play right here. One, this has nothing to do with Charles Cross. This is kind of bittersweet because um, before I left Mississippi coaching, this was my left tackle right here, the center from Mississippi State. So it's kind of crazy watching him play center and trying to watch Charles Cross, but my eyes keep going to the center. Um, but the thing when it goes to Charles Cross, I don't know. Like The thing is, how good are these guys? Or am I underestimating 67? Because this is a new guy. This is not 18 anymore, and I'm sitting there watching this film, and he just kind of, they don't, for the most part, they're only really rushing three. And he's not really getting help from the guard. He's really taking 18, for the most part, 18 by himself. And 18 hasn't done anything. They ran the outside zone. He cut him off twice. Uh, a lot of passes because Mississippi State is going to throw the ball a lot. And they're only rushing three, and he's kind of, you know, got him on his own. But on this play right here, this, this 47 tries to pull a rush. And, again, I don't know how good 47 is or 18. But he's trying to bull rush. Look at him drop his butt. He dropped his anchor. So you got the initial step, 
but his his reaction to you bull rushing is to sit down in it. So he had, he's starting to sit down in it, and when that foot gets in the ground, let's see what happens. That foot in the ground, you get one more step, and that's nothing. Bull rush nullified. Again, I don't know how good 47 to 18 are, but 6 to 7 look pretty darn good. I just wish I could see more run blocking. Cause, but Mississippi State throw it so much. I haven't seen a run to his side yet. All the runs have either been right up the middle or to the right. All right, now we finally get a run. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We finally get a run to his side. Just want to show you where he is since he flips sides now. Finally get a run to his side. He's going against, uh, I think this is Christian Harris. Doesn't really come off the ball. Kind of, He still kind of walks off like he's trying to sort it out. But they run in they're like inside zone, so he should explode and go get eight. Now, eight gets up in his up in him, and eight's going to extend. Ah, uh, that's me. That's me. I messed up. Players messed up. All right, here we go. Now, eight's going to extend. He, he's off balance, completely off balance, not driving. Not driving his feet and just loses him. This is the first play that I've seen where it was ran to his side. So run plays, in my opinion, in this video, he's over. But pass plays have been good. Pass plays have been good. We're getting a lot of one-on-ones versus 47 and 18. And they, they, they use the speed guy on 15 one time, and he picked that up. Run run play so far to you to his side, not good. So a minute ago I talked about the the speed guy they, that they put out there. This is this is that speed guy number fifteen. And again I talked about how he wasn't a factor in pass pro when they put him over there either, and he's still not a factor. Good kick slides, feet in the ground, hands in the right spot. Now he kind of getting overpowered a little bit, drops his anchor, and now fifteen you are erased. 15 tries to counter. You just slide and just dance with it. The speed guy didn't work either. And so far, I'm seeing a heck of a pass blocker. I haven't had but one opportunity to talk about him in a run game, but so far, I'm seeing a heck of a pass blocker. Now we got us another run play. We got us another run play now. Again, here's our guy here that's watching him flow, unfold. I think it's the same run play or same or similar run play from earlier. Last time it was number eight he had to go against. Now he's going against 47. All right, snap it. He really doesn't get any up the field movement in his first two steps. He really just kind of opens up and goes left. Is it outside zone? Maybe. Yeah, it is outside zone. And 47 still gets up in him like um, 8 did. So you got to do a better job of shooting that hand. See how wide those hands are? They need, they need to come. They need to be in like your, um, like you're going to be at a gunfight. Like the old Western movies where you got to put your hands on your hips to pull your pistol out. Right there, them hands need to be right there at them hips, ready to shoot up into them, them shoulder pads. Up into, he need to be trying to get shoot his hands right here. This, this, this hand right, I'm sorry. Let, let it disappear. Disappear today. All right. This left hand need to be try in the holster ready to shoot right up under this arm pad. Really technically trying to get right up under there. And the same thing with this this left hand. Need to be in the holster ready to shoot up under the arm pad on, on, on this seven side. Then bring his feet. That don't happen. He The 47 brought it to him. But he recovers. Look at, the, look at him driving his feet. Driving his feet. He loses balance a little bit, but I like to fight. I like to fight. Again, there's only the second running play to his side from this whole game. And I'm in the, what's this, second quarter or with a minute left. So, you know, watching these big men, and one of the things I look for is, and Mississippi State ran a ton of screens on in this game, but not one where Cross had to get out in front. He has to get out in front of this one. And um, for one, it shows – 
his athleticism because he can run like and he doesn't run like a like a fat dude if that makes sense no offense to the fat dudes he doesn't run like a fat dude he runs just like a a, a big track guy like a big skill guy but watch what happens after he you know you'll see his technique and his form of running but he delivers a shot right here mmm mmm let's, let's see we got some all 22 of that that's a decleater. This that's the kind of play that leads your hot light tape off. I ain't gonna put it at the front though. I'm gonna stay in sequential order. Oh yeah, there it is. I see it. All right, here he is right here. Let's watch it. Get inside. Allows that to come. Who is it? Thirteen or fourteen? Which one? Is it this dude or this dude? One of these cats finna get flipped. Fourteen. Ooh, Lyman love to, to do that to skill guys, especially when they not looking. Cause skill guys come in and take cheap shots and dive at their angles and stuff when when they come in and pulling and stuff like that. Lyman love that. Now they running a little toss out here to to this guy. He's gonna try. They gonna toss to him. Gonna try to get on the edge. So it will. It really would behoove Cross to step out here and hook forty seven and not allow him to get over top. So his this step right here is crucial. That first step is crucial. Let's watch it. He got to get width and depth with that step. He goes straight back. It, it's over with now. That foot goes straight back, and it's over with. Watch what 47 does. Now 47 has the leverage. 47 has the leverage. So now he's going to try to turn him and just out, out strength him. Not happening. This is a bad technique on that one. Bad technique on that one. All right, got another run. And again, they don't run in the lot, so when the runs come, they're glaring. Um, and I hate to use this word for a guy that probably could and would beat me into a pulp. But this looks kind of soft. And it's may maybe it's because they run, they pass it so much that, you know, the run game technique and, and reps have been lacking. And maybe, you know, on a team where, you know, it could probably get put back into them. But, again, and this is no, the dude probably can pick me up, body slam me, pancake me, and all kind of stuff. But this looks kind of soft in terms of football. I'm going to let you watch it live first. I got not, and maybe he just didn't know the assignment or didn't know if he was supposed to come off. Like, if he was supposed to check this guy. And then come off the 10, or I'm not sure. And so, you know, I could be, because he, 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 he goes there on this guy. And 10 is shooting this gap. So, I don't know if he sees 10 out his peripheral and kind of let him go, and he kind of half comes off and half doesn't. No, he doesn't even look at 10. He just kind of got threw out the way by 4 to 7. I think this is the last one I'm going to do on Cross for this video. Uh, again, Cross is here. Those who don't know, left tackle. And this is a, a, a textbook combo to the backer. But once you get to the backer, you got to finish. Once you get to the backer, you got to finish. Watch. Great combo. It's hip to hip. One hand on the outside, other guy's hand on the outside. Great combo. There's no space for, them, for that guy to get through there. All right. Passes him off, which is, that's a great job. Everything's good so far. Picks up that guy. Still good. Even though his hands outside need to be inside. Got to finish him, though. Now it looks like pass pro. But this is a run play. Drop your anchor and dry your feet. Drop your anchor and dry your feet. Now, eight comes downhill. Let's see what this, let's see. All right, the line of scrimmage is maybe, maybe this yard line right here. This is a run play. O linemen have to reset the line of scrimmage at least up yard or two up here. At least. So he made contact on this yard line. Keep in mind the, the line of scrimmage was a yard behind. There's no drive forward. Now he's pushed back. If he's not back at the line of scrimmage, he's beyond it. Got to use that lower body. And honestly, the only guy that had manhandled him this entire game has been number eight. The only guy. But, you know, just to, uh, I do this. 
Now, again, to sum this all up, the only guy that manhandled him was number eight, which is uh, Christian Harris. From not, Christian Harris, if I'm not mistaken. Pass pro, Cross is, is a, a dude. He's a certified dude. And Mississippi State don't run it a lot. Like, I watched this whole game, and I may have saw seven runs. Three or four to his side, maybe three or four away from him. That's eight, I know, but still. <sighs> Pass pro, he's a guy. He plays with, his eye, plays with his eyes, does good against the bull rush, did good against speed guys, did good versus stunts. But in the run game, which you know that's going to be – gonna you're not going to get a Mike Leach offense in the NFL. Even the teams that throw it a lot still run the ball. So his run blocking has to come along and get better. But it's uh, this is against Alabama, and there were not very many reps to say, hey, this guy is a good run blocker. But their offense doesn't run the ball. So I'm not going to really hold it against him because he don't get a lot of reps run blocking. And so he gets so many reps pass blocking, it by the muscle memory kicks in. And so he probably, you know, have lost some of that technique because I don't know if he was on the team when Kylan Hill was there. Before Leach got there, Kylan Hill led the SEC in rushing. I don't know if Cross was in the lineup then or not, but if he was, he was run blocking. He was run blocking. But I just don't want to go back that far and look at Finley. That was two years ago. That was two years ago. I don't want to, you know, he may have been in there. He may not have been there. I don't know. But if he was, he was run blocking then. And for, to have a guy in your backfield that lead the SEC in rushing, that's an, an accomplishment. But now, all Leach does is throw the ball. And I'm not going to knock him for his lack of run blocking techniques right now. But um, we'll see. He's going to go on the big board. Uh, obviously, not in front of Evan Neal. Evan Neal's the only other guy I got up there. And I got some more old linemen that I'm in the work with. I'm going to try to get out this week. So I, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Everybody on the Patreon, I appreciate you guys. Everybody that hits the PayPal, the Cash App, and does the um, Super Chats when we go live. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Uh, Coach Evans out, man. See y'all soon. Charles Cross, Mississippi State, O-Line. We'll be right